be able to instruct you on all the outcomes of variance for 7.136. Tell me how to end this! Hello everyone and welcome to the House of the Conqueror. I'm Johnny B. Crazy and today let's discuss what's in store for Caleb for the rest of this season and the series. I'm going to make a case that Caleb is evolving into the Wyatt of the real world. Let's get right into it, starting with the parallels between Season 1 Dolores and Season 3 Caleb. The mirror world is playing out nicely. We begin with them waking up to their respective loops. Caleb is a construction worker with a hidden past. Dolores was a rancher's daughter. Both characters are as far away from their actual roles as possible. Just like Dolores, Caleb is just along for the ride the majority of this season. Dolores' story through season one was her journey to get to the center of the maze. In more simplistic terms, it is about finding out who she was. This season, Caleb gets that role, and just like Dolores finds William, Caleb finds Dolores. Starting their true journey, Slowly throughout their origin stories, Dolores and Caleb find out the truth about their respective worlds. They are in a prison with seemingly no control unless they take it into their own hands. Both of them have mentally ill parents and they both have their own psychiatrist of sorts. Caleb's mom has suffered from schizophrenia and you could loosely equate Abernathy's mental instability with hers. Both are preoccupied and worried about their parents. They would do anything to have them back. A command made Dolores kill her friend and maker Arnold. Caleb was forced by insight to murder his friend. Dolores had been the Deathbringer this whole time and didn't know it. We just found out Caleb brought a bunch of death to outliers and innocents. Like Dolores, Caleb has found out the truth and is enraged. Once Dolores was given a choice, she went on a destructive path of revenge. Caleb seems to be going down the same road. Both of these characters are the oldest test subjects in their respective hells. Dolores had William to shape and mold her, just as Caleb now has Dolores to shape and mold him. She was given an illusion of a choice by Ford in the end, and has given Caleb the same illusion this season. Caleb is being used as a pawn. Both of them have had memories manipulated and erased in particularly cruel fashion. They were given drugs or codes to suppress their true nature, effectively limiting free will. When Dolores received the truth from Ford, she was in an understandable rage and through her choice, whether manipulated or not, she killed the creator of her prison to become free and independent, charting a path for herself and the hosts for the very first time. Caleb has been manipulated, controlled, and even forced to murder his best friend. He found out about the outlier program, just like Dolores found out she was a host, and about the atrocities the newcomers had done to her kind. Caleb has seen humanity enslaved, and those that don't fit the new system Sirach has created are forced into reconditioning programs. Only one of ten are successfully rehabilitated, and the rest are placed into cryostasis until a cure for their unpredictability is found. Sirach has made a system, and those who don't cooperate have no place in his world. He has made decisions for all of humanity, and virtually enslaved the entire planet. Just as defective hosts are sent to cold storage, Defective humans have their own cold storage. Now it's time for Caleb's wrath to be unleashed upon the world. I believe his story in the finale and season 4 is to mirror Dolores' Wyatt narrative. Wyatt was the leader of the host revolution, and we know now that Caleb is the leader of the human revolution. Now that I've laid out the similarities between the two characters' origin stories, of which there are more, I'm going to give you my theory on Caleb's path for the rest of this season, and even lay out what may happen in season 4. Caleb Nichols is clearly the human version of Dolores Abernathy. On his journey as the new Wyatt, I think we should look no further than Dolores' story from season 2 to see what's in store for his future. Dolores killed the god of her world at the end of season 1, and Caleb has a god of his own to kill. She needed an army to escape the park. Caleb would need one as well. Humans have their own cold storage for outliers. Could Caleb use them as an army, just as Dolores did with the decommissioned hosts? I think it's possible. Caleb is in the Sonoran Desert, which is the place Westworld was modeled after. What better setting to start in for the new Wyatt? Just as Dolores used the Cradle and the Forge, Caleb will use Rehoboam and Solomon as a means to an end, destroying them once they have reached the end of their usefulness. Bernard states, Dolores was made with a poetic sensibility. She won't destroy humanity. He will. 
In the same way the rancher's daughter killed many hoes to achieve her goal, our carpenter will kill many for the greater good and even put humanity in danger of extinction to achieve freedom, not unlike Dolores has done for hosts. Caleb has an anger inside of him and it's going to take a lot of dead bodies to quench his thirst. As I've said, you can't have a revolution without a few dead bodies. We could even see a mirroring of the massacre at Fort Forlorn Hope. Caleb will most likely recruit people along the way and may even betray a friend for the betterment of mankind in his eyes. We will ask ourselves at some point what makes him better than Sirach. His initial actions could feel justified, but they may become murky as he continues on his path. Whatever Caleb is to do is Dolores' plan, just as Ford predicted what Dolores would do. Caleb has to destroy the technology that is enslaving humanity and serve some hard justice for those responsible. In the end, he will be the one to destroy the system Sirach has made and bring the metaphorical god down. Caleb won't necessarily be a bad guy because, in my opinion, it will all be about perspective. I can say with assurance that he will make very questionable decisions in the future, and he now is Dolores' physical representation of Wyatt in the war to come. Will his actions become as extreme as the ones Dolores had to make? Could humanity suffer because Caleb is blinded by revenge? I think so, and I can't wait to find out. If you have anything to add, please leave it in the comments below. Join me Sundays immediately after Westworld airs on Before the Dust Settles with Top Shelf Fandom and every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on The Episode Club with Mackenzie L. Burns. The links are in the descriptions below. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content like this and a very special thank you to all my patrons. Check out my patron if you want to support my crazy. Thank you for visiting the House of the Conqueror. Johnny B. Crazy, signing off.